December 7th, 2017, and we are looking at CERN, the Large Hadron Collider. So this article is from Stranger Dimensions, and it talks about five strange claims about CERN, time waves, portals, and hell. Let's hope not. So CERN is definitely a very interesting thing. The physicists at CERN claim they're simply researching the hidden secrets of our universe, but some believe their goals are far more nefarious. Here are just five of the strange allegations CERN as Large Hadron Collider have faced over the years. So what are they really up to? The accidental teleportation of an Airbus. We'll begin with what some have claimed is an incredible cover-up of teleportation and a time wave incident that occurred in November of 2009. The story, which allegedly came out of the Kremlin, told of an Iberworld Airbus A330 carrying 170 passengers that mysteriously vanished, only to instantly reappear some 5,500 miles away. It had been en route near Santa Cruz, Bolivia, but instead found itself in the Canary Islands. CERN was implicated in this alleged event because the Large Hadron Collider began its first op operational run in November of 2009, but that's not all. Time waves and blackouts. That month's Airbus incident is entwined with the aforementioned time wave, which some claim rippled through South America causing a power blackout. Officials dismiss this blackout as caused by ordinary environmental issues, but conspiracy theory tells a different story. An anomalous event at the Large Hadron Collider distorted Earth's magnetic field, creating a ripple through space-time that interacted with the ancient pyramid complexes throughout South America. One of these, the Gate of the Sun near La Paz, Bolivia, was allegedly the focal point of this time wave, sending it straight in the direction of the Airbus that seemingly teleported. At nearly the same time, the physicists at CERN shut down the Large Hadron Collider, citing a piece of bread that a bird had dropped into some of the machinery. Consider this urban legend. In December 2015, tourists visiting Geneva, Switzerland, allegedly captured footage shown above, showcasing what appeared to be an orb entering an interdimensional porthole in the sky above CERN. The porthole vanished as soon as the orb completed its passage. Um, I have a photo I'll show you of that. Perhaps the strangest allegation is that they're specifically building a stargate, a portal to another time and place, to allow the return of the Anunnaki. These Anunnaki were powerful ancient deities that once inhabited Earth. Some ancient astronaut theorists believe instead they were extraterrestrials, the very same who assisted in early mankind's progress. The only downside is we don't know why, or if CERN were successful, whether or not the old gods would come in peace. Opening the gates of hell, however, the portals and the stargates may be the least of our worries. Some feel that during their experiments in searching for extra dimensions, CERN may, o CERN may open the wrong door. So where's the wrong door, the one that leads to hell? According to some concerned citizens of Earth, the power of the Large Hadron Collider grows. As it grows, so does the risk. Or as one YouTuber suggests, CERN may not be attempting to replicate the conditions of the early re universe, but actually reverse time back to just before God locked the fallen angels away. So all very interesting theories and conjecture. and fears around CERN. It is an amazing piece of machinery as you can see. We'll roll through some photos to get an idea of the scope of this. Absolutely enormous project. I don't know how much money they've spent on putting this together. And as you can see it's it's underground and it's enormous. It's in a giant circle, and then there's another circle within the circle. And some fear that this is going to open up the porthole to other dimensions. It's always interesting when you see projects named by, like, NASA and these other groups. Uh, they choose interesting names, for sure. Atlas, Alice, as, as well as others. Now, here's some of the photos of the cloud formations that have been seen above CERN, which are definitely highly unusual and very, very interesting. Are they indicating that there's portals being opened? 
what is really going on there. Very interesting formations. And this is the one that was spinning and then a light kind of shoots and disappears through it. There is a giant statue of Shiva at um, CERN and some people have voiced concern over that simply because in the Hindu pantheon Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the preserver and Shiva is the destroyer. So they're worried about that. Is that an implication as to what CERN is trying to do? And uh, Project Alice is one of the projects. And is it Alice in Wonderland that they're talking about? Are they talking about going down rabbit holes? So this is from CERN itself and just asking, uh, being asked some basic questions like, is it dangerous? No, it's not dangerous, they say. Although it is generating power, the power reached is modest by nature's standards. And then they go through you know, some of their plans, why the Hig Hig boson is referred to as the God's particle. Is CERN's aim to prove that God does not exist? No, that's not what they're doing. So they just say they just want to understand how the universe works, basically. And then concern over the statue of Shiva, which was a gift from India, celebrate its association with CERN, which started in the 60s and remains strong today. In the Hindu religion, Lord Shiva practiced Nataraj dance, which symbolizes Shakti, or the life force. The deity was chosen by the Indian government because of the metaphor that was drawn between the cosmic dance of Nataraj and the modern study of the cosmic dance of subatomic particles. And, um, you know, it gets into other things like, will it unlock doors to other dimensions, which they say, no, no, it won't. However, we are learning, and, and there's things coming out like right here this is another one from CERN talking about extra dimensions gravitons and tiny black holes extra dimensions may sound like science fiction but they could explain why gravity is so weak so they are uh, admitting that yeah there is definitely other dimensions and this is just talking about some of the results from the Alice experiment so far and more detailed info on the Alice experiment which is designed to measure the particles produced in the collisions which take place at the center so that the evolution of the system in space and time can be reconstructed and studied. So they really are trying to understand the space-time continuum itself. They are definitely jumping down the rabbit hole. And what are they going to unleash is the question. Over here on the smithsonian.com Lisa Randall, who is brilliant, um, is talking about opening strange portholes in physics. So again, talking about extra dimensions and opening portals between the dimensions. It's science. And I'm sure y many of you have heard that we ourselves are multidimensional beings. We exist in more than one dimension. We are primarily what is called third density and fourth density beings, where the fourth density relates to the astral plane and where we inhabit, where our consciousness goes when we sleep, as opposed to the 3D plane where we exist now. But there are many other planes, and um, they have shown that our brain operates on at least 11 different dimensions. So, are they trying to just simply contact higher dimensional beings? That's the big question. Is this really what they are trying to do? Art Bell um, had a famous caller call in to him on the Area 51 hotline many, many, many years ago. And this is, this was great. I remember this. I, I heard it live when it happened. And it was just um, kind of shocking, and I believed him, you know, for sure. Um, it felt completely real to me, or if, if not, it was very, very well orchestrated. So it's 1997, and a man called in claiming that he worked at Area 51, and <laughs> it was it was very interesting. I, I hope you guys have 
seen this before or listened to this before. But if not, I got it for you now. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, well, look, let's begin yeah. by finding out whether you're using this line properly or not. Uh, Area 51. Yeah, um, that's right. Were you an employee or are you now? I, a former employee. Former employee. Um, I, I, I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and and <laughs> I, I've kind of been running a, across the country. Um, oh man, I don't know where to start. They're uh, they're, they're gonna um, they'll triangulate on this position really, really soon. So um, you can't spend a lot of time on the phone. So give us something quick. Okay. Um. Um. Okay, what well, what we're thinking of as as aliens are they're uh, they're they're extra dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the um, space program made contact with. Uh, they they are not what they claim to be. Uh, they have infiltrated a lot of uh, uh, a lot of aspects of, of of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51. Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they, the, the military. I'm sorry, the, the government knows about them, and there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now are but they're not doing they're not doing anything they are not they want the major population centers wiped out so that the, the few that are left will be more easily controllable discharge <laughs> I still can't get it. So what happened was the actual power at Art Bell's studio went totally out and he had to go to his backup generators, which was really freaky and unusual and seemed to verify to him that this might have been an actual real caller and not a setup and not somebody just BSing. So I hope you guys found that interesting and the key thing that he said these are interdimensional, higher dimensional, extra dimensional beings. So that is a very big key. So perhaps that's what they're doing here on CERN is somehow trying to create stronger contact, create other ones, uh, create a bridge to other ones, improve communications, who knows? but something extra dimensional is going on there that appears to be part of it anyway so i hope you guys found this interesting give it a thumbs up if you did share it with your friends and spread the word and if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe and don't forget to leave comments uh let me know what you guys are thinking about this did you find it interesting what's your opinions on this and i look forward to speaking with you all again very very soon at Evolutionary Energy Arts. Take care.